unlimited power through the pollution of the environment. Yes. Smell it. Smell it. <coughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. In the last episode, we made the iron factory and the iron smelting tower. You know, I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm not entirely happy with uh, the last episode. So today, hopefully, uh, all computer issues aside, all recording issues aside, everything, hopefully we're gonna have a good time today and we are gonna work towards more fuel generation. That's right, I am going to try my best to kind of cap uh, some oil generation and some fuel generation and kind of go crazy with the fuel power. That's that's what my plan today is. Um, so we're going to make quite a few different machines and kind of see. But first, let's go over to our current oil and fuel generation and see kind of where our outputs and inputs kind of lie. So over here at our fuel input and everything that we've got going on over here, crude oil is creating plastic. Uh, that's using 75 per minute and then this guy is uh, creating fuel at uh, 60 per minute so that's um, I, that's a big number that I'm not sure of offhand no it's 120 uh, so yeah we've got all kinds of fuel here and we're currently creating 120 fuel per minute uh, and we're using one per five seconds so that's 30 fuel minute so roughly right yeah 30 fuel a minute so i i want to expand on this we've got these two um i would like to have at least with these guys creating 150 power each um i think i would like to have at least 10 of these maybe 12 I think that would be really good and we would be power proof for a long time. We're already fairly power proof at 2500, but I am hovering around the thousand mark and I really want to start amping up production in these videos uh, and getting into some some big, massive, just like huge chains of, 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 uh, of different stuff. So I am going to go ahead and get a few things together. I'm going to have enough for 12 of these guys. Um, probably enough for six of the oil refineries and we're gonna go find out a uh, spot to kind of sort all this stuff out all right so i've picked a spot not too far away from the main base you can see uh my smaller coal generation right over there um the line is right there and i've kind of built up now we will build down to kind of make this place look a little bit more stable uh, not just like a floating platform, but I've also kind of built close to all of that because I thought it'd be neat to kind of have the the power like coal generation thing like I don't know it it seems like it would be neat to be in the swampy nasty kind of area and it would just like make some sense. So let's go ahead and see how that's placed on here looks good looks really good it's it's good all around and i think that is going to work out well now the bad thing is is i've placed it backwards so that's unfortunate but now that i know where i want it just like that and should still be the same it is perfect all right so we can get uh placing some more down now i want like i said i want probably like 12 of these things and I haven't actually um, seen how much space that is going to take, but I imagine that it's going to take quite a bit. You know, it's it's these things are big, right? So let's do that. So that's it's a good amount. Like that is a really good amount. And then I wanted to also have a little line down the middle, and I'm just curious how close it's going to get. That's good. That lines up really well. I mean, that's an out, so that's not going to work. But say I could take a logistical splitter just like so and then run to there and run to there. Now it's it's not centered. And that bugs me because on, on something like this where I want I'm going to want everything to be like 
perfectly centered. And I th think I've got, yeah, I've got an odd number here. So <laughs> it bugs me. Oh, it's, it's actually like this one's too far back. That's why. Okay. So I can just go ahead and do this like so. Yeah. And then we get our splitter. Right, like so. And that's our input. I think that's going to be good. And we just kind of take a look here. Yeah, that's centered. That's centered really well. So I think that's going to be what we do. Uh, I just have to uh, place the other... I don't know how many... I, I need another eight. So yeah, I'm going to get to work making this platform fit for another eight of these things. All right, so we've got all 12 of our fuel, refi not fuel refineries, but fuel generators all lined up and good to go. They're, they're all green. They're all looking good. If you guys didn't know, when you, uh, when you pull out your color gun and you change this color right here, this first color, it actually changes the default coloring for all of the things that you place down. Now, I don't know why it's only doing partial color on some of these. Uh, but anytime you place them down and they're automatically going whatever color, that's because you've changed that first slot and that's your like default slot. So it's, it's pretty cool. All right. So let's come down here a little ways because we're going to need six oil refineries as well. I, at least I think it's six to be able to run, uh, what we're going to need over here as far as like all this extra stuff goes. So let's go ahead. I'm going to just come down a little ways, you know, not super far, but I want to be able to uh, have a good spot and just not have it super high off the ground. We are going to have to delete a few spots because this is tedious sometimes when you're placing a whole bunch of different things. Let's just bring this over so it looks good. I love this this double stack much more than I like the the uh, the tall stack. Just the the edge of it. I think it looks way better. I don't know. That's just me. That's that's just my opinion. Uh, so we need production. We need oil refinery. Let's change that to number eight. And now these guys are going to need an input, and they're going to have to come back. So these things are to get them completely on the platform. Let's take a look. I'm basically going to need to bring it back at least one to get it up there. I think that'll be good. If I Maybe if I take it back two, we should be about where we need to be. So let's go right here. Just like this. And I think we're going to run out of... Let's get rid of that. I think we're going to run out of concrete. But you know what? I know where I have a lot more. So as the sun begins to rise, we can take a look at what I have accomplished, which I think is quite a bit. Uh, we have six refineries through here uh, that will produce fuel. And then right over here, we have a transition where it is going to come up into here and then split off to each one of these uh, fuel generators. And I, I think that's going to look... Pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I am kind of curious if I can make something work. I was I was just kind of like tossing around the idea of doing something like this. And then if I come over here uh, and throw in one of these and just make it as close as I possibly can. Oh, it's too steep. Man, that would have looked really cool. And then had another one on the other side. Kind of have it do the same little thing but that's all right that's all right we don't we don't have to to do that that would have just been a nice little you know thing that we could have done uh but i think what i'll do is some logistics some stuff right there oh i forgot that you gotta double double click that so that up to there this up to here and then that will start feeding all of our generators as they go awesome I am really kind of proud of my my little work along the outside here. They're, they're not quite lined up perfectly, but the whole thing is kind of ran around the outside of the building. And I'm getting to be a huge fan of these wall 
conveyor things. I wish you could like triple stack them uh, on one wall or maybe even double stack them on one wall. I think that would look really good. But I, I'm having, a, I'm becoming a fan of seeing the stuff on the outside of the buildings just a little bit, just a, just, just a little pinch, you know. So um, oil is going to come up from down there all the way up to there and then get fed in and spread out. Um, all the way back to where our oil is being mined, I am going to replace with the Mark IV belts uh, probably when we get done. And then also we need to start putting in some of these kind of deals so that way this whole thing doesn't look like it's floating. Because, I mean, that is a cool look. Nope, that's not right. That is a cool look, but it's, you know, I want to start building these buildings to be a little bit more functional. You know, just a little bit more... I'm, I'm sorry, not functional. A little bit more um, pretty, you know? F a little more form along with the function. Because I think that's the, the true the true meaning of this this awesome game that we have in front of us. Like... You just, you just have all this really cool stuff. And then, you know, you can kind of abuse a few mechanics with, with like, how high up in the air stuff goes and, and whatnot. But I think just adding in little, little details is, like, really cool. Now, I can't see that one at all, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, and then I'll do a little bit more over here. I can't decide. I think you can go... No, you can't go down. Okay, I thought for some reason that you could go down on these foundations, but it doesn't look like you can. Ooh, you know what? I would be able to, because I could do this and kind of have it go across like so. But I don't, I don't know. I think I like the metal grayish foundation uh, for the, for the base of the building anyway, for, you know, for what it is. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to run um, all the way back uh, I need to put a splitter. Hmm, how far do I want to put the splitter back? I think I want to put the splitter like right, kind of like right there. Take that and then bring it all. Okay, so it does work. So now I need to get my um, basically enough of the encased iron beams to run this system all the way back. And then I got to hook up electricity. So I'm going to go and do the iron beams, or the uh, replacement mark conveyor belt things first. And then we'll do some electricity, and then we'll turn the system on. All right, so I just finished running the line all the way back to the uh, oil pumps. Also realized I have two more oil nodes over here. So if we can't keep up with production with what we have, uh, I should be able to throw on another two oil pumps and be good to go. I also don't think I've overclocked the oil pumps at all. So there is the opportunity to do that as well that we uh, that we can definitely look into. Now, this belt is so fast that I keep getting pushed off of it. But yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice quick way back home. I'll tell you that much. All right, as I land over here, I haven't hooked anything up yet because I just, I just haven't. So we've got fuel in all of those. Um, I need to start hooking up power. That is kind of our our little bit that I need to do here. So let me see. Um, we're not going to have anything there. So, oh, we can't afford it. I don't have any concrete. Oh, I put up all my concrete when I filled my inventory full of the encased iron beams. I need more concrete now. All right, I've got power kind of situated and in, in, in ready. Uh, we just have to start running things up. So I think I'm going to just slowly turn on the system like one little bit at a time. This is like my favorite part in the whole game. Uh, pff, I'm out of industrial beams. Are you kidding me? How am I out of industrial beams? I, I've, I put away all the industrial beams when I went back over to get more concrete. What can I say? I just... Pff. <laughs> I oh man all right let's see if we can try this again I think I have everything I need to start the uh, start the process here to kickstart everything so let's get over to here and we shall watch the magic happen from there to there all right we should see oil come up split both ways and then caught come over to there and start going in. Okay, okay. 
So what? We have no power. Right, because I have not hooked up the actual system. So I'm going to let this kind of backfill all the way to that line. Just a little bit, just to watch it happen. Okay, completely backfilled. Okay, everything is primed, I guess you could say, at this point in time. So let's come over here. We'll hook to the power grid itself. Take this line to there. And all of these should start working. We should st see them starting to fill up. Should be good. And we're starting to see... Oh, wow. That's a lot of fuel already. And all of that's going... Okay, okay, everything's turning on. I think we've got... Yeah, these these two are running. These ones are running. This one... This one has not gotten any oil yet. That one did. Okay, this one did. Let's see. It, it splits off a lot, but once it fills up and we really start to see a good production coming, uh, it, should, it should be really, really good. Uh, you are not turned on yet. I don't have any fuel. Oh, I have a little bit on me. I could throw some in. But I, I could also prime all of these and go and get a bunch of fuel that I already have saved up and stocked up. And, uh, and, start the, and start them, you know, get them primed. And they should be good. But this one just got some. And then this one back here. Let's, let's go ahead and just prime this one. That should be good. We're sitting at 4,500 power at the moment. And I, for some reason, yeah, most of these aren't on. So let me go grab some more fuel and start just to prime the system. No, you know what? Let's, let's let this, oh my goodness. Look at all that just came in there. When it, when it comes through, like it flows, you know? I just used all my... I, I can't use my jetpack anymore because I just used all my oil, but look. Look at all go. So those front ones... Okay, that that works. Ouch, that's going to hurt. These front ones are full now. So everything's going to bypass those and it's going to funnel back to these. And these are half full. So yeah, the system is going to take care of itself. I'm not worried about it. 4,200 power at the moment. It looks like the cap... Oh, 4,350... Is, is there anything not running at the moment? I think everything's running. So our, our max power is 4350. And if I wanted to do some more, I could keep going that way. Let's see. 59. That's the one I, I stuffed. This one is not running. 4350. Let's grab uh, half of this. There's that. There's that. Yeah, it looks like stuff is just trying to get kick started a little bit but I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna top out at about 4400 uh, once we see a good bit more come through yeah because that guy's not on all right I'm gonna let this run for a hot minute I'm gonna see where our uh, cap lies so we're about to witness the last machine filling up there it is we should man that is looking so I, I just love it I love it I love it it's all starting to back up now should be good. We are creating, I, w I was correct, 4350 power. Um, with this kind of system going now, I feel comfortable to go ahead and start tearing down some of my other stuff and um, kind of rebuilding it. I have like 2000 power right here. What is this? 150 times 12. Um, I, I don't know what that is offhand. What, what is that? Hold on. Let's open my calculator app. 150 times 12 is 1800 power so we have 1800 right here and then our like current usage doesn't usually spike up higher than like 1200 or so but it looks like all of these are now getting filled up it should be good we're seeing all kinds of stuff created here it's looking really nice so yeah guys i am pretty happy with what we have going on over here uh, this is our fuel refinery, fuel generator, oil, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is super loud over here. So I, I don't think I'm going to spend a whole lot of time in this area just because of how loud it actually is. But everything is backed up when it's needed. It gets sorted through. 
Um, it does not look like we have backed up the actual oil. Ooh, hey, this is cool. Uh, does not look like we've backed up the crude oil usage yet. Let's take a look. Uh, no, it's still it's still getting funneled in ever so slightly. So that'll probably get backed up, and then all of that will be running as well. I just stole 200 fuel from over there for my jetpack, so that's why this line is also currently running. Probably going to tear down the coal generators you see there and then the fuel generators you see there uh, just to kind of clean up the area a little bit and, and open it up for a little bit more things because right there is where I have uh, um, my forges going. And so I think I want to make a nice little forge area because if you I don't know if you could see it, but off. Yeah, you could just barely see the stacks right over there. I have 27 coal generators going as well. Um, and I have support. We figured this out on stream. If you guys are, are curious, I, I've been playing this on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash DraxLP, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But we figured it out on my Twitch channel that that one node that I have over there, uh, I can support 50 coal generators on it. So that's pretty hefty. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's pretty good. So... Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I know I've had a blast with it, trying to get everything going and whatnot. And uh, guys, I'll see you in the next one.